Hi guys and welcome back to the Birds Party channel. As you can see, I'm outdoors in my studio garden because I wanted to share with you guys some easy DIY ideas for transforming some thrifted items into a shabby chic or a country French farmhouse style. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you probably would have seen quite a few weeks ago a thrift store haul that I shared with you guys and among those items was a white urn that I found and a couple of yellow lanterns and although those items look quite good as they were they didn't quite fit with my French rustic country tablescape that I had in mind so I decided to transform those items and make them into a beautiful centerpiece. When I first had the idea of transforming these items I wanted to create a tablescape that would be perfect for a baby shower, a bridal shower or even a spring wedding but given the current global situation we are all trying to stay safe and stay at home but that does not mean that we can't dress a beautiful table or create something special for our immediate family and for our loved ones and if you live on your own hopefully this video will give you some inspiration and some ideas or how you can spend your time creating something fabulous and creating something that will bring you joy to your heart and to your soul with that being said let's get crafting and the first thing that I did to my white urn, because it was a white shiny porcelain urn, was to mattify the whole thing using some white chalk paint and a paintbrush. So I painted the whole thing white and a little bit of the inside of the urn as well, just in case I wanted to add some plants and you could see the inside. And then when that was dry, I went in on top with a light grey acrylic colour, so all the colours that I used were matte to give it that kind of uh, aged cement urn look, so as if your urn had been sitting for a long time outside and it got a little bit of moss and a little bit of rust, so that was the idea for this paint technique. And lastly I went in to give a little bit of highlighter detailing with some uh, verdigris or kind of like a, a mossy green colour and a little bit of brown as well just to highlight some of the details on the urn. Now for my yellow lanterns all I did was to cover them first with a white primer because they had quite bright yellow colour and when that was dry I had this uh, verdigris once again this kind of mossy green spray paint at home so I didn't have to buy anything luckily uh, but obviously feel free to swap out the colours to suit your own taste but then I went in with some brown and a combination of two uh, acrylic browns and just really inexpensive paint I think I kind of uh, borrowed this uh, paint from my daughter's uh, stash of uh, acrylic paints and I just went in with a very dry brush and kind of rubbing out some of the excess as well with a paper towel um, just to make sure that it looked a little bit rusty and a little bit aged as you can see I still have some yellow here and there on the lanterns so this was the perfect occasion to camouflage that and to give it a really nice aged look and when I was painting I just insisted really on the areas of the lanterns that would naturally get rusty like the hinges the locks and the tops of the lantern and I must say I love this technique and I love how realistic these lanterns turned out you really had to get really up close to tell that it was a paint technique or a paint job and don't forget you guys these are just ideas and hopefully some inspiration uh, to help you get creative with maybe some thrifted items that you already have at home that you've been hoarding for a while like myself and to dress my French rustic country tablescape I decided to do it outside in my studio garden because the weather was so glorious you guys, the sun was shining, the birds were singing and it was such a shame not to take advantage of it. But of course I understand not everyone has access to a garden, to a terrace, to a patio or even a balcony. So I have also set up this table indoors to give you some ideas and show you how it would look and it would still look so pretty and so French inspired if you're setting up this table indoors. So check out my blog, I'll leave the link down in the description box so you guys can see all the photos of the indoors and the outdoors as well and depending on what kind of space you have access to you can set up these ideas or something similar doesn't have to be exactly the same obviously uh, for whatever environment that you're setting up your table in
and I just wanted to remind you guys and now is the perfect time to take out those faux flowers those fake flowers to use on your tablescapes to dress everything because not everyone has access to fresh flowers or a garden so shop your home for items you already have and don't forget to get creative transforming any thrifted items that you may already have already at home sitting in your garage sitting around and you don't quite know what to do with it so hopefully this video will inspire you to uh, get creative and set up a beautiful table to treat your immediate family i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it lets me know that you like this kind of content so i can produce more of it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that i post here on a weekly basis take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.